Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Phantom Hourglass with Classic Gamer Dave. We just got uh, a new fairy friend. Let's see if we can see it on the menu. Oh. Collection. Yeah, we collected a fairy. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. So let's get out of here. Come on, lineback. You were about to leave me here? You wouldn't dare. <laughs> You're too much of a puss. We're hot on the trail of untold wealth. Um, that light that needs finding is a really shiny treasure. Yeah, yeah I really don't think so. <laughs> yeah, in the last episode, um, the fortune teller said there was a light that was fading, which is obviously Zelda. Um, haven't for left, haven't forgotten anything, have you? All right, good. So. Yeah, I, I can't imagine if, her, like, if she's already, like, dying, if that's what they meant. <laughs> she just, she, there's no way she'd survive, um, cannon, so we want to go up to here. Let's roll, Autobots. <laughs> Sweet. Something cool about being on the open sea. I mean, I love spirit tracks because I love all Zelda games. Oh, I don't have the cannon yet. Uh, you can actually shoot the seagulls. It's pretty fucking awesome. It's my favorite thing to do. But yeah, there's there's something cooler about being on the sea and something not that cool about being um, on a railroad. <laughs> like, there's something like really free and open about the sea and then the railroads were always like really confined and this at least like this still feels really open like Zelda games should but Spirit Tracks felt like you can go here 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 and here and that's it even though it's sort of similar like there were just as many places in Spirit Tracks to go as here but I don't know what up dude shipyards open if you have ship parts take them in there Oh yeah, sure, what? what's that? You know that you grip your equipped items by tapping the item icon. You can also press the L, R, R, L and R buttons to grip your equipped item. Word. Yeah, I should really bind L and R to something, like maybe my keyboard. Because I use my mouse to do this and everything else, basically. So I have to, like, click on it. Anyway, let's go inside and see what's up. Ooh, treasure! What do we get? Oh, we get the utility handrail. Word. <laughs> this doesn't actually do anything, it just looks. Later, if you get, um, like certain sets, like if you get a full set of something, you can get bonuses for some of the later pieces, but this one's just like, derp, derp. If you got the parts, I got the time. Let's see what our new handrail looks like. <laughs> so we got simple. Utility. Ah, that actually looks kind of better. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> yep, yep. Cool. Your ship's stamina go up if you use parts from the same set experiment. Yeah, see. <laughs> There's a certain set that I really want, but uh, more on that later. Later. How much, how many rupees do we have? It doesn't even say on the screen, it's just kind of weird. Oh yeah, there it does. 145. <laughs> Cause I want to make sure I buy that, uh, that power, uh, what are they called? Oops, no. What is it called? Power Gem. Duh. I couldn't think of the name for the life of me. He ran into my shield. Cool. Um, we don't have... Oh! Oh my god, run! Guy steals rupees like a bitch. I hate that crow. I hate it. I hate things that steal rupees. It's the 
just like, no, just steal my life. Don't steal my money. <laughs> Alright, so what do we else... Um, we have to find the next thing in the temple. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What the f... What are you doing here, man? If you push yourself that hard from the beginning, you won't last. I understand wanting to hurry, but don't waste your energy. Okay. Yeah, you've said this before. We already know. I know we have to find clues to find the spirits, but we need some kind of strategy. Just don't end up like this. Oh, that, that would suck <laughs> really bad. That's just a skeleton hanging out. I, I'm. It's like crazy that nobody's like nobody flinches at that. Like Link is just like mm, skeletons, whatever. Human skeletons, fine. What up? I mean, if you say you want to go it alone, then who am I to stop you? Well, to be to be fair, we did like run here on our own. <clears throat> it's not like we were like, "Hey, you want to come with us?" We were just like, "Hey, here we go." Well, yeah, kid, the temple's a little dangerous. <clears throat> not a place for kids. Hmm. So yeah, what do you? That's not exactly true. What? It's hard to tell who's talking sometimes. I'm impressed you managed to free the spirit of power. You are strong. Even if you file, follow the ghost ship, you will be fine. Nice. Well, vote of confidence from the old man. Get up on that altar. Okay. I think we go this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just take a stab at what this thing is called. <laughs> Even if you've never played the game once in your life. I won't spoil it, just in case. What is that? Oh, shit, we got fucking... A sand monster vomiting everywhere. <clears throat> take the hourglass. You're very demanding, old man. Okay, <laughs> grab it. Just grab it. Think. Whoa! Magic is awesome! You got the Phantom Hourglass. It's a mysterious hourglass filled with golden sand. Sweet, now what does this shit do? Whoa, what the absolute fuck was that? Whoa! I think that was an emulator glitch, but did you hear all that noise? It was like. <laughs> Uh, you now hold the legendary Phantom Hourglass. Whoa! That's what it's called? I never would have guessed. As long as you carry it, this temple cannot drain life from you. Awesome. Well, that was easy. <laughs> it kind of takes the challenge out of everything. Ahem. However, oh, uh, there's always a catch. Hey. You are only safe as long as the sand remains on the top of the phantom hourglass. Oh, when all the sand is drained at the bottom, your life, too, will be drained. Oh, that's freaky. <coughs> yeah, just flip it over again. That's fine. Word. Once the sand of the hours has drained, its power is lost. It needs the light of the sun to restore its mystical power. Oh, cool. I get it. So we have to go outside the temple again. The sand inside the Phantom Hourglass is called the Sand of Hours. The beast you defeated in the Temple of Fire held some grains of it. So basically, this is just a way to put a time limit on this temple to make it more difficult. <laughs> cool. Great. Yes. Yep. More monsters you defeat, more our sand in the Hourglass. And by monsters, he means bosses. Because you can't just beat any old thing. Sea chart we found in the temple showed where to find this captured spirit. If that's the case, then the location of the other two spirits, hmm. Duh, let's do it. Thank you. Enough talking. Stop talking. Ugh. Oh, that the sacred light was fading. We've got to hurry. How do you know so much? Yeah. That's a long. St that long story is not ready. It's not yet ready to surface, but all will come in time. You're just fear for plot development, aren't you, old man? 
For now, you must find the ghost ship. Word. <clears throat> Mountain of treasure awaits, ready to leap into my pockets. Put some steam in your engines and get exploring this temple, kid. Well, they're gonna go duke it out up there, and I'm gonna go in here. Oh, oh the hourglass just flipped. Ten minutes. Wow, that's a lot of time. Dang. Hey, what's up, red guy? Red gal? I don't know, is it a girl or a guy? Or is it just a fairy? Well, no, uh, tail and whatever from Majora's Mask, Cecile, they, they were male and female, so what are you? Who knows? <clears throat> Sometimes you just don't need to explain stuff, game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Remember to keep an eye on what you've got left. So the door of power uses my strength to open it. Tap the door and let's go even deeper. Yes, let's do it. <clears throat> Open it up. What did I do? Just knock on it? <laughs> I was just like, eh. <laughs> well, we've used three seconds already. No. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the map up here. So, <clears throat> see what we got going on. Okay, not really too much. We need that key over there, obviously. Whoa! These are these guys are big and scary. Let's go kill them. Hey, it's an enemy. You know what to do. Yeah, let's get it. Oh, wait. <clears throat> the evil that cursed this temple made these monsters phantoms are very dangerous enemies. Their armor is nearly impenetrable, and they strike very hard. Does it mean you can't defeat them? There has to be a way. <clears throat> well, all you can do is sneak by the phantoms so they don't see you. You can watch their movements on your map. Oh, that's fucking handy. The cone shows where they are looking. Oh, I love sneaking around. <clears throat> so this is basically like the thief episode of Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> what if we're seen? If they see you, run straight for the safe zone. By safe zone, you mean those purple spaces on the ground? Oh yeah, the sand stopped moving in the hourglass when we were in one. Yeah, I don't know why it's not running right now while I'm standing out in the open, like a shithead just talking. Oh, but it's a cutscene. Things don't happen in cutscenes. Temple's curse make it a dangerous place, but it's not all that bad. <clears throat> Those safe zones remain as places that evil can't get to. So if Phantom spots you, just run to the safe zone. Easy. Right. Yes. God. Spend much more of this episode talking. Oh, well, we should probably see what this guy has to say. Lighting the torches should open the way. Oh, good hint, man. But how am I supposed to light two of them? Good question. Alright, so I think that's a good time to end this episode. I'm sorry that there was so much dialogue. Oop. But, uh, that happens in these games, so... I'll see you guys next time, <laughs> and uh, keep it classic.